in the past three games. Y'all are tied for the league lead. Uh, you know, last year the team got banged on a little bit because of what people thought was an inconsistent defense. What's been the difference between last year and this year? Um, I think overall you just have guys that are, are more familiar with each other. Uh, but also, an organization level, I think that's a bit higher than last year in terms of our ability to to limit chances. And, and yes, we're a free-flowing, attacking team, um, but I think we, we do a good job of, of understanding where danger is and, and when to make sure we, we deal with it. And who is responsible for kind of, or is your someone responsible for recognizing that danger and kind of getting people organized? I think it's everybody. I think it's everybody. Everyone on the pitch, everyone off the pitch. You know, the work that you put in uh, Monday to Friday in terms of making sure you know your opponent, um, all that comes into comes into play. Uh, it's important that you have an understanding, like I said, of who you're playing against, the, the dangers that they, that they, they cause, the threats that they have. Um, and it, at the end of the day, for those 90 plus minutes, when, when you're, you're in a match, it's everyone's responsibility from, from, from the goalkeepers up to the strikers of, of how we're gonna close, close them down and how we're gonna put them under pressure. And what are the dangers that Montreal presents? Yeah, I mean, they've got good, they've got good individual players. Obviously the one that, that everyone talks about is, is Piatti and, and what he brings to their team and what the level of confidence he gives other players on that team. Uh, it's important that similar to some other teams that we played already that that we keep an eye on him and, and we we know where he's at in at, at all times throughout the game uh, like i said he can he can change the the game with one pass with one strike um he's got that ability you guys are in such great form right now montreal obviously coming off you know a tough loss um and maybe not having such a great season do you believe in trap games and if so like is this how do you how do you combat that how do you combat that Listen, I mean, first and foremost, right, it's it's still early in the season. So, you know, for as great a form that we're in or, or that people want to say we're in, um, there's a lot of football to be played. And we, we, we don't get distracted by that. We, uh, we're, we're focused in, in terms of what we're trying to do here, and that's every week get better and, and, and make sure we're moving in the right direction. And, and that's a positive one. And, and hopefully with that, comes good performances and, and also good results. Um, in terms of, of Montreal, obviously they, like you said, obviously a, a difficult result for them on the weekend, but um, there's no easy games in this league, uh, home or away. Uh, you, find, you find success by, by what you put in, what you put into games, what you, you put into training, um, and you, you have to make sure that for those 90 minutes, there's concentration, there's communication, there's desire, there's um, the ability to, to help the guy next to you in, in terms of within one moment, there could be a breakdown and, and you need somebody to, to be there to, to cover your back. And, and I think we've had that uh, as of late. Uh, but like I said, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of football to be played going forward. Um, we want to make sure that from our side of things, we continue to, to move in the right direction.